Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and uh, welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, today we're back on the MPC tutorial as normal um, and we are doing the selling kind of MPC. Um, so if you remember in the last video, we I won't show you because it takes ages to load, uh, but what we did is we added in the inventory and uh, we kind of touched on the interface a little bit. Um, but what we're going to do in this video is try and clear that up and make it a bit a bit nicer. So um, if I remember rightly, we were trying to get rid of the quests. So when uh, the... Um, what is it called? <laughs> when the... Invent no, not... <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. When the text boxes are open, we don't want the uh, quest to actually draw on. Uh, top of it. So what we need to do here is just add a really quick like if, uh, and then mm, let's go into the NPC or actually the selling NPC. It doesn't matter which really, because uh, I'm pretty sure we had a mode uh, for when when to draw it. Yeah, global lot selling mode. So not inventory quest. If we go into the uh, draw event now and go to the if. Uh, if we put if global dot selling mode uh, or global dot npc mode, so this will check whether either of our npcs is currently open. Uh, if it is, if not, no, yeah, yeah. So if if we're not got them open, then we want to draw it otherwise else if they are already open we want to do global dot no mm. oh, we don't want to do anything actually we don't need that else uh, I was thinking more actually on the selling NPC side when we are activating the mode. Uh, so where where would that be then? Uh, it must be in the. I don't know. I can't remember where we put it. Um, ah, maybe it's in the player. That's probably where we put it in the interact with the NPC. Yeah. Uh, so when we've actually got these uh, modes here. No, no, we don't want to do that. Sorry, I was thinking like if we have the inventory open and uh, the quests open or something like that, well, then we don't want them both open at once. You can toggle between them. Uh, but that's not what we want to do, actually, is it? Because we want the quests to always be there, uh, unless in the case that it um, has got the... I don't know what I'm on about today. Uh, no, the, unless it's got the uh, text box open already. So if the text box is open, we want to get rid of the quest system. Otherwise, it's just normal. So if we now, it's going to do nothing. <laughs> Which is always, uh, always good. Uh, let's just go check the other one really quickly. See if it, no, it is uh, absolutely both of them which don't work. Uh, which is absolutely awful. Really? <laughs> Also, though, what I have noticed there, uh, really quickly, is this one is actually drawing behind it. Um, so whichever one that one is, I think that's the selling one. We must have changed the the depth, yeah, to minus ten. So we want to change that on all of them to minus ten, and that will solve one of the issues that we had last time. <laughs> okay, apparently they are all at minus ten. So let's just make this one minus a hundred. Um. Yeah, minus hundred. That should definitely solve it. Then let's make the player like minus a thousand or something crazy. Okay, that's minus twenty. Minus two hundred. There we go. So now that maybe should work. I'm not sure. Um, but let's go and have a look at the quests and see why why they are still drawing. So if. Actually, let's just go and check that the, uh, I can't quite remember if the NPC mode sort of variable that we've got is uh, actually 
false and true. Yeah, it is true and false. Um, so that that's all right there. If we're going, oops, didn't mean to do that. Going to the quests. Yeah, not set. Draw. Uh, so what we're saying is, if it's not selling or not NPC mode, then we're going to draw it. But for some reason, it's not drawing. Well, it is drawing actually when it's not meant to draw it. Which isn't right. Um, hmm. Actually, let's go and um, let's just copy this actually and just put another one inside the for loop. Uh, so that should, in theory, just fail safe it. So if the first one doesn't work, if it's still in the for loop by the time it's done it, uh, then that should cancel it out maybe. Or maybe it's the the pure fact that it's not constantly drawing it. I don't know. That could also be a factor. Um, but it shouldn't do that. It should, if it's in a draw event, just be constantly drawing that, and then you can just switch that on and off. Um, so let's let's see if this does it. I don't think it will, but it'll definitely clear out some issues that you might have later on. Um, if it'll actually load up, that is. <laughs> I think my laptop's having another one of those slow days, to be honest. Which apparently other people do have as well, so that's good. It's not just my laptop. <laughs> um, okay. So no, that has done absolutely nothing. In fact, I think that NPC is actually drawn itself now on top of it, uh, which is a bit odd. It's also incredibly laggy. Uh, that's probably just because the recording software. Uh, it's not great recording software. Yeah, he's, he goes behind when I'm talking to him. But when I'm talking to him, he doesn't go behind. It's a bit mysterious, actually. Um, hmm. Uh, ooh. It's tricky, this, actually, because... The only other way I can think of actually doing that is to get rid of the uh, object quest entirely. Um... I'm kind of concerned though because the game is actually still, yeah, it's just stopped then. Uh, so let's just go and check we haven't actually missed out any uh, DS grids or anything. Have we even used DS grids? Nah. Well, that's odd, something's causing that to lag and I don't know quite what, but we'll just leave that for the minute I think. Uh, not much I can do at the minute, but let's try and get these quests done. Let's try and get that sorted. Uh, so apparently this uh, doesn't work. Um, so what if we like, uh, yeah, let's, let's add another one just really quickly. This should just be our debug one. Um, so let's just comment that out and comment this out and comment that out and comment this out. Um, and then let's just add another one. So if one equals one, if one equals two. So it's not going to draw it ever. Uh, so that in theory, there's no way it should draw it now because one does not equal two, so it shouldn't draw it. But yeah, it might be. It might, if it doesn't draw it, then it shows that something's gone wrong in between it starting drawing and then stopping drawing. It's doing something wrong in that short space of time in between. Whereas if it does draw now, then it's something to do with the if statements. Which really, really shouldn't be wrong. Uh, so no, it's never drawing it. Uh, which is what we kind of wanted. Um, otherwise we're going to have to email Game Maker and say, Excuse me, we've got a massive bug here. Um, but in terms of this quest, it's still a bit of a mystery. But what we now know is that somewhere in between the player being created and us interacting with the NPC something is going wrong so it's probably that it's activating this bit here and then can't stop it once it's been activated which isn't very good at all really uh, so just comment that one out um, therefore there must be s I think it might be the for loop actually uh, looking at it 
But I'm not quite sure how we can get around that without having to actually get rid. Wait a minute. Uh, on the su on the subject of the lag, actually, uh, we better go check something really quickly. Uh, it's very important that we did this. Um, Cause if not, that probably what's causing the lag. Uh, so yeah, we've got the global quest. Did we do it? No, we we did actually delete them at the end. Uh, so it's a bit of a mystery that, isn't it? Why uh, the draw event isn't working? Um, I think, as I said before, I think that's what's happening is it's drawing this and then just saying, you know, I'm just going to stop there. Yeah. Whereas really what it should be doing is drawing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, so, let's just try and add this bit back in. Uh, and then let's just do repeat that many times and now this may crash uh, the whole game but we'll see how it goes uh, but now it should be drawing it all the time there shouldn't be a single moment where it doesn't draw it but it may also just layer it straight on top of each other which won't be good but you know testing and all that we'll have to give it a go if this doesn't work though guys I think we're gonna have to leave it there and I promise I'll get it sorted for the next one uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't plan for this, um, so I'm not quite sure how it was going to end up. Um, but you know, sometimes these things do happen. So now it isn't actually drawing it at all, uh, which certainly isn't good, uh, actually. Maybe we got the uh, things the wrong way around. I do that quite a bit, actually. Um, so maybe instead of saying... I can't remember what we did actually. Maybe instead of saying if no, that is that is right. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry guys. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I will try and get that sorted out for the next one. If not, we can just leave it. It's not a big issue really. Um, but I promise we will either sort that out in the next video, or we'll go on to actually doing some of this scripting and coding. Uh, otherwise, um, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, again I apologise this video hasn't been the greatest, um, but maybe you've learned some debugging techniques and stuff um, for your game. So, uh, yep, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, comment, lots of more comments actually have come up uh, recently, and uh, also we're approaching 300 uh, subscribers, which is pretty big, and I might do something a bit special for that, uh, so thanks for that everybody. Um, uh, so yeah, I will uh, talk to you later.